Hello, and welcome to the University of Advancing Technology. My name is Dr. David Bowman. I'm the provost here. I want to welcome you to campus, and I want to start out your day by giving you a bit of a story that helps you put into context what you're going to see at UAT. Now, UAT, you can sift the entire country, and you'll find almost no institutions like us. We really are unique, and we're unique because over 30 years, what we've done is we've focused on preparing people to think and grow and create with technology. Why this is important? It's because the landscape of work in our country has fundamentally changed. And to understand that, here's some data. The U.S. Department of Labor, since about forever, has been tracking jobs in our country. And if you were to look back in the 1950s, what you would have seen is that most of the jobs in the country were just jobs, you know, working in a factory, doing agriculture, things like that. After that, what you'd see is there's jobs called service jobs, medical jobs, office jobs, and the like. The lowest jobs, less than 10% really, were creative jobs, jobs you create things. You roll forward now, everything is different. What you find now, and going into 2025, and most of the students who look at UAT are getting ready to graduate from us, jobs, workforce jobs, are the bottom, maybe 10, 15%. Service jobs are about the same. But what's really exciting is that the creative class jobs, STEM jobs, tech jobs, they are moving to somewhere between 35 to 45 percent of all jobs. And in Phoenix, it's much closer to 45. In fact, Forbes magazine in 2014 identified Phoenix as one of the top three cities in our country as places where technology is growing and thriving. And why is that happening? You can just look around me. Everything that's happening here with the internet information technology has changed our landscape. You can't spend a day without being touched on technology almost every minute. And what that needs is a workforce behind it that creates this technology, builds with this technology, and can think about this technology. And that's what we do at UAT better than anybody else. We do it in three ways. First, at UAT, you're going to dive into technology immediately. And you're going to see it throughout this tour. You're going to see every room is filled with technology, and you're going to touch it as a student here all the time. And what's great is you're being working alongside of students and faculty in a small private college setting. And our faculty are brilliant. These are faculty who are deep in technology, they know tons about it, and they're used to working with small teams of students to help you grow, because that's the priority. In fact, it's such a big deal in working with technology here, what you're going to find is in your first two years, you're going to learn how to program robots, code, build databases, do cyber work, and get your hands deep into the technology. So much so that by the end of your second year here, you're going to be really ready to go out and work in the field. And why that is important to me is that as a college student, you want to be independent as soon as possible. It's part of the growth process, it's part of college, and you know, it feels good, it feels right. And while you won't get the same kind of jobs at the end of your second year that you would when you graduate, you're going to get a job coding in tech, building in tech, that's much better than working at a cash register. And so we make sure you're in it fast and you're in it deep and it's all around you. The second thing that we do at UAT as part of our model is it's a real college experience. We want you to think about tech. We want you to grow with tech. We want you to be able to merge technology with a greater human experience. So what that means is while you're here, you're going to take art classes. You're going to take literature classes. You're going to take social science classes. You're going to build and create tech that's aesthetic and makes sense to people who aren't part of the tech space because that's where great tech comes from. And one of my favorite examples of that is one of the first classes all students take here is called Thinking Strategies. And this is a really cool class. It's not specifically about tech, it's about all the toolkits that you have to solve tech puzzles. And you work not in your discipline, but with students from all disciplines to solve different kinds of tech problems and learn to think about tech so that after you graduate, you can keep relearning and reworking with tech and get better at it so as the tech changes, you grow with it. And there's a great example of that Recently, a class was given the puzzle of how do you solve tying shoes if you have just one hand? It's a very real issue. It affects more people than you might think. And so the students got together and in two weeks had to come up with a concept for how do you solve shoes with one hand, build a working prototype, and then pitch it. And this is an example of it. If you can imagine what this does is you slide it in the front of a shoe and that holds the laces in place so that the other hand can do it. Our students did this, this is printed on a 3D printer, they presented it, and they finished that class as a freshman with something that they could take to market and were very excited about. That in a nutshell is why bringing all the concepts of a full college experience with technology together is so incredibly valuable. Now the third thing that we do here that makes UAT work 
is we have an incredible focus on building complete projects. It doesn't matter whether you're cyber or robotics or programming or game or DV or whatever. We're gonna have you build and create and create again unique projects. In fact, the challenge I make to students all the time is I want every student here each semester to soup to nuts build a complete version of whatever it is you study. Now, the first few of these aren't gonna be the best. Some of the teams won't gel, some of the things won't come together. But what's great about this model is that through our weekend jams and our competitions and our curriculum focus on projects first, by the time you graduate, you know what it feels like and you know how to be successful with projects as an undergraduate. So as a result, by the time you go to your very first job, you're building amazing things. And to give you an example of that, let me show you this. This right here is an autonomous drone, which you might not think is all that exciting, because we've seen them. It's been a big topic in the news about privacy and how they're affecting our lives. What's amazing about this drone, that gets me very excited, is this drone was completed soup to nuts this semester. Students in our autonomous vehicle course, their senior year, built this drone. It had nothing to start. Every bit of code they did. They coded within three weeks how to make this drone stand up and stabilize. Robotic students worked alongside programming students, working alongside maker students to build the pieces and bring it together. And by the end of the first semester, what this drone is going to be capable of doing is being to respond to audio controls so that loud sounds make it go up, quiet sounds make it go down, leftward sounds make it go left, right go to right. This is an amazing thing for undergraduate. In fact, usually when you see technology programs, these really high-level tech, what you're looking at is graduate student work. This is the work of undergraduates, and it shows what our students accomplish by the time they finish up. Now what this means is between the deep dive in technology, a project focus, and bringing all of human existence into the concept of what makes great tech great, it's a lot of work, but it's very exciting and prepares you for what happens next. And so as you look at everything today and you view our campus, I want you to see it through this lens. And when you're done, if you decide to come on, I'm looking to see you at an orientation. And more importantly, I'm very excited to see you at a graduation. Have a great day.